Great morning, friends. Jason DeSantis. Did you ever drive down the highway and pass someone and something looks weird in the car? I don't know. It doesn't matter what it is. You, you notice something out of the corner of your eyes. You're passing the individual. It catches your attention. So as you get in front of them, you stare in your rearview mirror to try to figure something out. Either what were they doing or what are they wearing or what do they look like because they just flipped me off and it made me mad. Um... But did you ever do that so long and focus so hard at staring at them in the rearview mirror that you caught yourself almost running into something, having to slam on your brakes? It's dangerous to look in the rearview mirror too long and focus too heavily on it. There's a life lesson in that. There was actually a book written about it that I never read, but because I knew I wanted to say this, I had to look it up because I got to give the guy justice. His name is Rick, no, Jeff. Jeff Wick Wire. Jeff Wick Wire. 2006, I don't know. Look it up. It's called Windshields and Rearview Mirrors. And the concept is this, is that cars were built with windshields much larger than rearview mirrors for a reason. And that's because in order to drive successfully, you have to be looking forward most of the time. Rearview mirrors were designed to assist you in avoiding trouble from time to time by glancing at them. You glance in a rearview mirror, to make sure there's no adjustments you need to be making at the moment, as I'm doing right now. Um, or if you can make a move you intend on doing, you just gotta double check what's behind you real quick. But you don't stare at it, focus on it, and let it overcome your thoughts. So I just wanted to relay that today. I think it's, it's a commonly known concept, but not everybody's heard it. And it's, it's a neat thing to, to remember. Because you really can paralyze yourself by staring in your own rear view mirror things you could have done, should have done, would have done, or for that matter, did and regret. I mean, I've got a ton of that stuff, but it does nothing to benefit your progress today to dwell on it. So if there's something holding you back because you're focusing too much on yesterday or a half an hour ago for that matter, work on letting it go. Think about what's ahead of you and what you want out of your life, not what you regret. Make it a great day.